Welcome to our Freestyle Libre session. We hope you find this useful and it will enable you to get the most out of it. Here is your Libra starter kit. It consists of the box containing the reader and the box containing the sensor and applicator. If we first look at the box with the reader, you will find inside a quick starter guide, so that's to refresh your memory on how to apply the sensor, the reader, and underneath you will have a Freestyle Libre um, user manual, various other little pieces of information which you may find useful, and also plug and cable which will allow you to charge up the reader as, as required, and also to download the data to your computer using that cable. In the other box, you will find the sensor and the applicator. It is important that you check the expiry date to make sure um, that it's still in date, and you will receive two of these on prescription. To open the box, you just open like that. Inside, again, with some information, um, and you'll get the sensor and the applicator. It's important, again, you check the use-by date on the sensor. You do have some wipes as well, which you may want to use, especially if you have applied um, cream or you've just had a shower and, and your skin may be a bit soapy, or you can use it anyway. Please be aware that you do need to make sure that that dries before you apply the sensor. So we're going to apply the, the sensor. You should take your wipe and open it and then using the wipe you're going to clean the area where you're going to apply your sensor. The best way to do this is to put your hand on your head of the arm you're going to be using then swipe that outer area with the, with the wipe. Correct, so that's lovely. Okay. So now lower your arm and we're going to then um, get the applicator set up with the sensor. Okay, so if you peel the top off your sensor pot, keep the foil as it has your serial number on, put the pot down and lift up the applicator. You will need to unscrew this and it can be quite tight as you can hear. Put the clear pot down and then picking up the sensor pot on the two of the of them you've got a line on the lip of the sensor cup you will see a line and on the applicator you will also see a line you need to marry these two up push down and now lift up the gray part of the applicator the sensor now is sitting inside the applicator you will notice there is a needle um, which will enable the sensor to be put into your arm. The needle obviously won't stay in place. Once the area on your arm is dry, you are able now to apply the, uh, the sensor to that area by raising your arm and applying the blue part to your arm, keeping it in place, push straight towards your arm. Once you've heard the click, you can then pull the applicator away and the sensor is now inserted into your arm. Gently push the sensor around where the adhesive is just to make sure that it's in place firmly. Now you have a sensor inserted into your arm. Right, to set up your reader, you'll need to press the home button, which is the little blue button on the right hand side. You'll need to set up the time, the date, and your target glucose range. These are quite clear on the screen. For target range, you do need to set that up for between four and 10 millimoles. When you get to that, finish that screen, you will then get to a screen which has um, the arrows explained. You can just carry through that once you've read it and that should then get you back to the screen where it asks you to start a new sensor or look at your history. At the moment you haven't got any history. We do want to start the new sensor so if you press the new sense, start new sensor and then 
move the reader to your arm where the sensor is and wave it over the sensor. It will now show on the screen that in 60 minutes you will be able to scan to your heart's content. The sensor lasts for two weeks and when you need to change it, you just peel it off like a plaster. When should you do blood glucose testing? We do recommend that even though you are using your Libre to look at your glucose readings, you should still do blood glucose testing. If, you're, if the arrows are pointing either straight up or straight down, um, if you feel hypo, and especially if the Libre isn't saying that you're hypo, but certainly if it looks as if you are, you're, the arrow is pointing downwards, you should definitely don't do a finger prick test to check. If you feel unwell, we would suggest that you follow the sick day rules and do a blood glucose testing and blood ketone testing rather than purely relying on your Libre results. And finally, we would always suggest until you are used to the Libre and understand how it works for you, you should always test your blood glucose before you eat to ensure you give yourself the correct amount of insulin. We would suggest you scan more than eight times a day. The more you scan, the more you'll learn about your diabetes. For this first two weeks, just sit and watch and learn about what's going on. You'll see things you've never seen before. And we would only suggest that if you are having hypos, you need to do something about it. Ignore the highs, just watch and learn. It's like watching a film of your blood glucose. So please enjoy these two weeks. And if we can be of any help, please contact us.